to make a sacrifice one has to build an altar. One has to harmonize destruction and construction. Be for everything, one has to build an empty space. The first city was built by a fratricide, Cain. The murderer of Abel. The spirit of conjugation and social communion has always been pierced by his antagonists. The self-annihilation, the chaos and the cholera. Cadmus destroyed the dragon and by the instructions of Athena, he sowed the dragon's teeth in the ground, which from there sprang a race of fierce armed men, called Spartae. By throwing a stone among them, Cadmus caused them to fall one upon another until only five survived, who assisted him to build Cadmea or the citadel of Thebes. God's final intention is to build a city for mankind. Abraham looked for a city which has foundations, whose builder and maker is God. Cities are centers of pleasure and culture, where all the hungers of the soul can be satisfied. Hunger for beauty, hunger for art, hunger for culture. Nimrod's name is from the verb, let us revolt. He is said to be a mighty hunter in the sight of the Lord. But language has a dark meaning. He does not hunt animals, but rather souls of men. Cain, a condemned murderer had started the first cities before the flood. Nimrod builds the first post-flood cities. Now the whole earth had one language and few words. And, the Lord said, Behold, they are one people, and they have all one language. And this is just the beginning of what they will do. And nothing that they propose to do will now be impossible for them. Come, let us go down. The Zeppelin Field was one of Albert Speer's first works for the Nazi party and was based upon the Pergamon Altar. Albert Speer made plans to reconstruct Berlin on a grand scale, with huge buildings, wide boulevards, and a reorganized transportation system. For the construction, Speer, under the command of the Nazi party used Jewish slaves. The whole scene resembles the scene where Moses' revolution happened, as is told in the Bible. The Alexandrian dreams of the Nazi pharaohs were not born of an anomalous tree which came from heaven, but from a plant rooted in the deepest levels of the soil of history, or the history of utopia. Likewise, they are not in a history book nor in the BBC documentary, as old pictures, immobile. They migrated primarily to the U.S. space program. From rocket to rocket. They went to Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and became a bargaining chip during the Cold War. The dreams of inestimable power continue to spread across the world, sometimes violently shown, sometimes violently hidden. Dreams of total domination are part of everyday life and go unnoticed, as the greatness of the planet Edwell also is unnoticed. The dreams exhale a specific odor in each of the large buildings in the large cities. From the first, to the third world. <laughs>